Imagine a desert with a scorching heat, no weather, dust storm, airy silence and barren land. But wait a minute, this was the situation before the Egyptian government made a bold decision. Now, in the heart of Egypt, a desert is being transformed by the construction of the world's longest artificial river, costing $5 billion. This river is 1.5 times longer than the Panama Canal, seemingly impossible to make a project. But how is it being built, built? And what motivated the Egyptian government to take a such a huge risk? And most importantly, why spend $5 billion on an artificial river when there is already the Nile River? All the questions are controversial. Keep watching until the end of the video to find all questions answered. Before that, be sure to subscribe to High World channel and open the notifications on the side. Water is a vital resource for the people of Egypt, as it supports agriculture, industry, energy, health and human development. However, in some areas of Egypt, it is facing a water crisis due to several factors. Like misuse of water resources, Egypt suffers from low water use efficiency as about 80% of its water is consumed by agriculture, but only 12% of its GPTs comes from this sector, or climate change impact. The water crisis in Egypt has serious implications for its people and economy too, such as the food insecurity. Water scarcity could affect Egypt's agriculture production and food supply, as most of the crops depends on irrigation from the Nile. Egypt already imports about half of food needs, especially of it, which is a staple food for most Egyptians. Water scarcity could increase food prices and reduce food availability and accessibility for millions of people. Health risks Water scarcity could also affect Egypt's public health and sanitation. As many people lack access to safe drinking water and adequate sanitation facilities, water scarcity could increase the risk of waterborne diseases such as diarrhea, typhoid, and cholera. Water scarcity could also fuel migration and displacement within and across borders, as people seek better living conditions and opportunities elsewhere. Egypt's artificial river project is also known as the New Delta Project which is a 5.25 billion project to build the world's longest artificial river with a length of 114 km. The project aims to divert water from the north coast across the western desert to irrigate 9,214 square kilometers of land in the New Delta Agriculture Zone. The project will also provide water for industrial, residential and tourism purposes. The project involves pumping water from the Lahmam Agriculture Wastewater Groundwater Agriculture and drainage water to produce 10 million cubic meters of water per day. The water will flow through 22 km of underground pipelines and 92 km of open channels to reach the new delta area. The project is expected to create jobs, increase food production, reduce imports, save foreign currency and achieve sustainable development goals. The project is part of the Egypt's strategy to cope with water scarcity, population growth and climate change. The investors of artificial river projects are mainly the Egypt's government and its ministers of water resource and irrigation and agriculture and land resources. The project is funded by the state budget as well as loans and grants from international organizations and donors, such as the World Bank, the African Development Bank, the Islamic Development Bank and the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development. The project also involves some foreign companies. What do you think about this mega project? How much can the construction of this mega project help Egypt? The project starts in 2020 and is expected to be complete by 2025. The project will use modern technologies and equipment to dig the artificial river and install the pipelines and channels. The project will also use solar energy to power the pumps and treatment plants. 
The main problem that the artificial river project aims to solve is water scarcity in Egypt, which threatens in food security, public health, social stability and regional cooperation. By creating this river, the project aims to increase the availability and accessibility of water resources for various purposes, such as agriculture, industry, tourism and domestic use, to create jobs and economic opportunities for the local population and investors, save foreign currency and reduce the trade difficult by exporting surplus products and attracting tourists. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please like the video. Before continue, a question for you. Do you know even what the population of Egypt is? If you know, write it below. The water problems of Egypt affect not only its own people and economy, but also the world in various ways, such as the global food security. Egypt is a major importer of food, especially of wheat which is a staple food for many countries. If Egypt faced water scarcity and food insecurity, it could increase the global demand and prices of food, affecting other food importing countries and regions. Moreover, Egypt is also a producer and exporter of some agricultural products such as cotton, rice, fruits and vegetables. If Egypt's agricultural output declines due to water scarcity, it could the global supply and trade of these products. Regional Stability and Cooperation Egypt is a key player in the Middle East and North Africa region, as well as in the African continent. It has a strong political, economic and cultural ties with many countries in neighborhoods and plays a role in meeting conflicts and promoting peace. If Egypt faced water scarcity and social unrest, it could affect the regional influence and relations, as well as the security and development of region. Climate change mitigation and adoption Egypt is a both contributor and a victim of climate change, as its greenhouse gas emissions contribute to global warming, while its water resources are vulnerable to climate change impacts. If Egypt face water scarcity and environmental degradation, it could increase its emission and reduce its resilience to climate change. Some of the disadvantages of obstacles of the artificial river projects are High cost. The project is estimated to cost 5.25 billion, which is a huge burden on the state budget, especially amid the economic and social challenges caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The project also requires loans and grants from the international organization and donors which could increase Egypt's depth and dependence. Environmental impacts The project could have negative effect on the environment and biodiversity, such as disrupting the natural ecosystem, depleting the groundwater resources, increasing the salinity and pollution of the water, and contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. The project also requires large amounts of energy to pump and drain the water which could increase the demand for fossil fuels and renewable sources. Technical difficulties The project involves complex engineering and logistical challenges such as digging the artificial river, installing the pipelines and channels, operating the pumps and treatment plants, and maintaining the quality and safety of water. The project also faces the risk of delays, accidents, malfunctions or sabotage. Social resistance The project could face oppositions, criticisms from some local communities and stakeholders such as farmers, residents, activists or experts. Some of them may question the feasibility, necessity or sustainability of the project or demand more transparency, participating or compensation from the government. We also hope that the project will be built as soon as possible so that the people and the government of Egypt can be a little relieved from the problem. In your opinion, how likely is the project to build by 2025 and is it a worse building or not? Be sure to write in the comments below. Well friends, to watch more videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications and follow along the video. 500 billion dollar video of the lion the project is that's going to fail